inside and out. That's what I think. You served your brother. Was the Lord when he revealed that to me, was that right? Yes. I don't know you, do I? No. But God does. Yes. And he did it. Yes. All right. Thank you. Come on. You were hurting? All of you. You didn't want anybody to know about it. Right. Is that true? Yes. What happened to all your pain? Is what? It's gone. You can say it loudly. It's gone. All right. Let's give God praise. Pain is gone? Yes. And the other thing that the Lord showed me is gone? Yes. You feel different? Yes. Something happened? Yes. Can you explain? No. But it happened. Yes. And the pain is gone in your body. Yes. All right. Oh. You got a smile on your face. You're feeling good. Yes. God did something. Yes. Yes. Because you weren't feeling good. No, I was having this nervousness and this one. And you were depressed. And God lifted it. You got to smile. Yes. You keep smiling. And our friends are going, you're happy. You're what happened? What happened? Let's give God praise. Tell them what God's done for you. Uh, God healed my arm. I wasn't able to lift it for five years. I had a rare nerve condition and went to nine doctors. Uh, they all told me that I would never be able to lift my arm again. And after coming to a service, my, I'm able to lift my arm. I'm just so thankful for the woman of God uh, Minister Grace James, how she's been so instrumental in the outreach for souls. And it's, it's been, it's tremendous, the deliverance and the healing ministry that she, you know, she has exhibited and, and God has used her in such a, in a great way in songs, I say spiritual songs, songs that are uplifting. And I see many people have been blessed. These services are exciting. God is working miracles. Amen. You have to come. That's Amen. Right. Amen. You've got to come out to a service. The things that you see that God is doing, He's going to do for you. He's blessing people's lives. He does physical healings. He delivers people. If you have depression or fear or racing thoughts or anxiety or emotional, you know, any, any emotional problems, God can take care of those too. Trust God. He does. Give God a chance. Amen. Amen. In your legs, pain is gone. Yes. And how long did you have it? A long time. A long time, and the pain is gone. <laughs> she needed a lift. Those were happy tears, honestly, earlier. I believe you. I have a little slow. You had, oh. <laughs> you had, you had for 13 years arthritis, so you're full of pain. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see what happened. Take a walk. Earlier. And no more pain. Parents, no. Pain is gone mm -hmm. after 13 years. <laughs> what God does. See what God does, she said? Mm -hmm. You're done. <laughs> All right, let's give God praise. I mean, no, life doesn't always work out the way you plan. I, I mean, seriously. Yeah. Things happen that you don't expect. But then you just keep praising the Lord through it all. And he gets you through what? Through it all. Amen? Amen? He works it out. But the Bible says he works it out for who? For me. For you. Can you tell your neighbor he works it out for you? And he works it out for me. What does he do? He works all things out for our good. Romans 8, 28. He works it all out. And sometimes you wonder, how is he going to work this out? It's so messed up. Has anybody ever been there? And the worst part is you made it up and made the mess yourself. Yeah. Isn't that true? But you see, God says he works all things out for our good. And the thing that I love about that is when I'm going through something, I'll say, Lord, I can't wait to see how you're going to work this out. I don't know how. I don't know when. I don't know where. But you're going to work it out. And then I add to it, I say, Lord, 
would you please hurry up? <laughs> because, you know, we're impatient sometimes. But I thank God that he has such patience for us, that he loves us so much, that he cares so much for us, and that he does work it all out. You lost your job? What am I going to do? You're going to get another one. Better than the one you had, with more money. Because God closes one door, he opens another door. And no man can close a door that God opens. Amen? Amen. And I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their seed begging for bread. I have seen all through the scriptures how God gives you manna from heaven. You will not starve. Your shoes won't wear out. You'll have all that you need from his riches and glory. You know why? Because you're a child of the Most High God. And when you give unto God, God's going to give back to you. Press down, shaking together, running over. You won't be able to contain all the blessings. These services are exciting. God is working miracles. Amen. You have to come. That's Amen. Right. Amen. You've got to come out to a service. The things that you see that God is doing, he's going to do for you. He's blessing people's lives. He does physical healings. He delivers people. If you have depression or fear or racing thoughts or anxiety or emotional, you know, any, any emotional problems, God can take care of those too. Trust God. He does. Give God a chance. Amen. Amen. Hi, my name is Destiny Hill, and I came with the Christ Prayer Warriors Outreach Ministry in Peace Guild. And I came with like chest pain, like I was having, I, I used to have asthma, but I don't claim that anymore. But I came with pain in my chest, and it was bothering me really bad off and on. And when Miss Grace prayed for a lady with chest pain, she stood up. I, she said to put her, her hand on her chest, her heart and to put one hand up. And I did the same thing, and I claimed my healing, and then my chest started, like it was really clear when I breathed. Now I can breathe in and out with no problems. And before it felt like it just hurt it. It's just a weird feeling that was bothering me before, and it's clear now, so I thank God and I praise him because he's wonderful. He's always doing good things. My name's Elizabeth Smith. Um, I used to be an occupational therapist until I was hit by a car. It seemed like the closer it got to me getting here, I was getting in more and more pain. She didn't know, but when she called me out, she actually said, you, you have pain in your hips? And I said, yes, I'm in excruciating pain. I felt like I just, just about walk in here tonight. When she prayed for me, I mean, the pain was immediately gone in my hips, immediately gone in my hips. And I'm just going to give God the the praise and the glory. When God heals you, you stay healed. Amen? Tell them what he did for you. I had TMJ on both sides of my jaw. And it was very painful. It was very painful. You came to a service, what happened? And doctors and dentists and x-rays and everything else came to Grace and Vessel's healing service. You prayed over me. You called out healing for TMJ that night. I raised my hand and was healed. Praise All God. All right, let's give God praise here tonight because I saw your television show last Sunday. I have a herniated disc in my neck and my lower back and I am pain free after Grace put her hands on me and my also my friend Lisa was healed. She had a brain tumor and no longer does so thank you so much Grace. Hi my name is Tracy I'm from Newburgh I just want to thank God because I came a couple of years ago and I had back problems, I was supposed to have back surgery, I had three herniated discs, and my back is healed. I teach gym today in the city, I'm just thanking God. I came to this service because I had sciatica really bad for two months, and uh, I had Grace pray with me, and the pain just went away. It was amazing. <laughs> you go to the men's room I want you to check that out right now right now come on back I had a rash for three years that I couldn't get rid of it would be hives on my belly and then little bumps on my thighs sometimes they would come up periodically I can't believe that you know God saw fit to to heal me tonight um, it is a personal miracle for me. I want to thank God for helping me in this matter. 
during the service, Grace, um, all she did was touch my hand and uh, told me to go and, and look at the rash. So I went to the men's room and I pulled up my shirt and the rash was gone. I mean, I couldn't believe I was looking at my own stomach. It was, it was unbelievable. It was like a dream, as I said in the service. Um, it's just such a miracle. I, I, I can't believe it happened to me. This rash has been gnawing and nagging at me for years. I wake up in the middle of the night, scratch, 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 you know, and it's gone. I mean, it's, it's like my stomach never even had it or something. Thank, thank God for grace and thank God for Jesus. These services are exciting. God is working miracles. Amen. You have to come. That's Amen. Right. Amen. You've got to come out to a service. The things that you see that God is doing, He's going to do for you. He's blessing people's lives. He does physical healings. He delivers people. If you have depression or fear or racing thoughts or anxiety or emotional, you know, any, any emotional problems, God can take care of those too. Trust God. He does. Give God a chance. Amen. Amen. It felt nice. Wonderful. Since 1992. Really been in pain. And it's gone. It's gone. And you didn't expect it? No. Tonight was my first time coming to this type of service. Uh, I didn't know what to expect. I had hoped that Grace would have picked me. And I felt blessed because she immediately came up to my left wrist where I have a lot of pain. And there's a heat sensation going through still at my hand right now. And it gives me a lot of hope for other things in my life. And I feel very blessed and I will definitely come back. With my wife to Grace's services now for about, I guess, 10 years. And um, even though I haven't had an actual physical healing, um, I've had emotional healing here and basically I've felt, you know, when depression has been lifted and I felt, uh, you know, the blessing of the, uh, you know, just the presence of the Holy Spirit here. I was diagnosed um, in early April with an adult brainstem glioma, which in English is an inoperable brainstem tumor. And I was told that I would be dead by now. And um, the tumor has shrunk a half a centimeter. I've been coming here for about six months now. And Grace is just the best. And I feel the tumor's gone. I don't feel that it shrank. I feel it's gone. And I left it back in 2002. <laughs> so I shouldn't even be here now. And uh, they say that they found evidence the tumor's been there since 1995. And the life expectancy on this tumor is four years. So I've already beaten the odds by three years. I'm going to keep on going. Lord, tonight's his night. He doesn't know it yet. But you see, God knows the pain you've been through. God knows how much you're hurting. I want you all to lift your hand toward him right now. Thank you, Lord, for all of it to go right now in the name of Jesus. We curse this right now. Right at the root of that pain. We thank you for one drop of your blood running through his whole system through every part of his sinuses. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Deep breath. What happened to the pain? It's, it's what? It's what? It's what? It's what? Turn it around. These services are exciting. God is working miracles. Amen. You have to come. That's Amen. Right. Amen. You've got to come out to a service. The things that you see that God is doing, he's going to do for you. He's blessing people's lives. He does physical healings. He delivers people. If you have depression or fear or racing thoughts or anxiety or emotional, you know, any, any emotional problems, God can take care of those too. Trust God. He does. Give God a chance. Amen. Amen. It's going to be with a little bit accent. I'm sorry. We like accents. <laughs> In 99, I was diagnosed with, I mean, I was misdiagnosed by three doctors. I had the bleeding ulcer. I've been on borderline of death. And it was a rough time for me and my husband who was right in the back. We came to your service 
in the same month, I found out that I have ulcer and I'm not having cancer, I'm healed. All right. Thank you, Lord. Come on, brother. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. prayed on your back for the pain to go away from your back all the way down on your left side, especially in the knee joint. So I want you to stand up. I want you to bend down. No crack? Nope. What happened? Feels like it's gone. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. No cracking. <laughs> no problem, he said. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Do you hold that for her, please? Do you know him? Yes. Oh, good. Because I let him hold your pe your purse. I want to make sure you knew him. <laughs> oh, Father, we just thank you right now in Jesus' name that all this pain from her back, her abdomen, her hips, down to her toes, in her knees, get out in the name of Jesus. Whoa, glory. Glory. Get up. Move around. Do something, honey. How do you feel? God. What did God just do? God healed me. God is good. He healed you? Yes. All the pain in your back, your knee? Yes. No more? No more. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of praise. I'd like to encourage the people. I've seen the power of God being used uh, through Pastor Grace. I know when God began using his people in such a manner, there would be questions and people, I've, I've known of people saying, but is that true? I want you to know that it's true. You have to believe that which God is doing even now. And I know that God is using Pastor Grace in, this, in, in the healing ministry. I have no doubt about that. I, I operate in that, and when I move in a place, I get to a place, I get to see that this is truly of God. So I want to encourage you people out there that have watched our program or have come to our meetings to believe that that which she speaks in your lives is actually of God. Where did you have the pain? In my stomach. And what did I touch? In my stomach. And I pressed on it a little bit. Yes, you did. You didn't tell me, did you? No. Take a deep breath. How's it feel? Pretty good. Pretty good? <laughs> Did you expect that? No, not at all. But you got it. You're the first one, too. Yeah. All right. Come on. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. <laughs> What'd you say? It left a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> you had it right through here? Yeah. And it was painful? Mm hmm And how long have you had it? Oh, gee, a few. So long you can't remember. Yeah. But it's gone. Yes. Just like that. Just like that. Come on. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Ears are open. Your ears are open. They were closed. They were were clogged for long. And how long? Um, a few years now. So you were going deaf in your ears. Yes. And God just restored your hearing. Opened up. They just opened up. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of praise. She didn't tell me. You're afraid of me, aren't you? <laughs> I can't do anything. <laughs> oh. Feels a little better. You can't explain it, can you? No. Are you shocked? Yes. 
She was hoping we wouldn't see her, huh? <laughs> you, she was supposed to do her. Ah. So what did God just release you of? A lot of, I have breathing problems. I have emphysema, yeah. So take a deep breath. It was deep, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Felt good. Yes, it did. It wasn't uncomfortable? No. No more pain? No. It's gone. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of praise. These services are exciting. God is working miracles. Amen. You have to come. That's Amen. Right. Amen. You've got to come out to a service. The things that you see that God is doing, he's going to do for you. He's blessing people's lives. He does physical healings. He delivers people. If you have depression or fear or racing thoughts or anxiety or emotional, you know, any, any emotional problems, God can take care of those too. Trust God. He does. Give God a chance. Amen. Amen. Uh, what I was diagnosed with was a disease called Kindbach's disease. And Kindbach's disease is a disease where you lose the circulation to the lunate bone uh, in the center of your hands. Uh, and the specialists that I'd seen, uh, they were mystified by it because people that get Kindbach's disease, although it's very rare, rarely ever get it in both hands. My hands were becoming crippled. She took both my hands, braces and all, kind of cupped them together, and she picked them up high, up above her, and she was holding one hand on the microphone and one hand, both of my hands, uh, and she just started praying. And as she started praying, excuse me here, as she started praying, I felt um, a very cool, tingling sensation, and I had full use of both hands. And, and my family had some people, some of my family doubted but I was determined to prove I was cured. Uh, so I went out in my backyard and I built a two-story barn by myself over the next four weeks or so and give God all the glory. It was something they called Guillain-Barre syndrome. And I was getting numb on my left side. And I never left the hospital. And it, it kept getting to me that my voice was going low and by that night I couldn't even hold the telephone. It had paralyzed me. You know, from and I don't know what I don't know how it happened, but the only thing I could move was my neck. And nobody knew what it was at the you know, at the time. That was in two thousand two. And they um did everything they could but I kept getting worse and worse. You know, I, I just couldn't move anything. My toes, my fingers, I couldn't move anything. The first time I went to Grace and Vessel, I was in a wheelchair. The second time I came back, I was in my walker. The third time, I had my cane. The next time I was driving, <laughs> and I came, you know, she, you know, she touched me, you know, she touched me. I was healed of Guillain-Barre syndrome. I'm an advanced practice psychiatric nurse, um, which means I work um, as a prescriber and, uh, and as a diagnostician with patients with psychiatric illness. I myself was struggling with MS. I was diagnosed first in 2000, and um, my doctor kept trying to give me a variety of different medications, but nothing seemed to work. I kept getting worse and worse, and I was not, I was really starting to have difficulty working and difficulty walking. Um, at that point, I was being fitted for a wheelchair. People said, this is kind of where you're going. That's going to be the end of that. And I was very discouraged. However, um, I came to a service a service at uh, Grace and Vessels, and I was most um, most surprised and most pleased. It was it was a really an incredible experience. When she came to me immediately, I was the first person, and she said to me, um, "You have MS." And I thought, "How did she know?" She put her hand on my back and she said, "Stand up," and that that in of itself was a gift. It's like, whoa, you know, they're not asking me to fall down. And I could stand and I could walk and without a cane, without any devices, nothing. It was pretty incredible. 
These services are exciting. God is working miracles. Amen. You have to come. That's Amen. Right. Amen. You've got to come out to a service. The things that you see that God is doing, he's going to do for you. He's blessing people's lives. He does physical healings. He delivers people. If you have depression or fear or racing thoughts or anxiety or emotional, you know, any, any emotional problems, God can take care of those too. Trust God. He does. Give God a chance. Amen. Amen. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven? over you.